Hey, what's up guys, Fazu here, and today I have a start of a tutorial series. Now, before I get started, I just want to say sorry for being a little inactive just for a week. Just I wanted to take a break, you know, it's my holiday, just wanted to enjoy it. So what I was, I took a week break, and then I figured I'd start again. I haven't been doing much background, so I've only made about two. I did say that I was working on three speed arts, but I didn't get the chance to do them. As I said, like, it's the holiday, it's, um, it's a holiday. Well, now that's out of the way, let's get started. What you want to do is you want to open Photoshop. And today what we're going to do is we're just going to do a simple custom logo or custom text, whatever you want to call it, tutorial. Now, always make sure to unlock the layer. Always make sure. And then what I do is I use a really like dark gray color in the background so I can see where the slices and splits are. You don't have to copy me, but you can do whatever you want. Also, to make it easier on myself, I just write what I want to make into custom text. I put it on the on the side. I put it next to it, just like this. Now, there's two ways to do custom text. Now, I'm gonna make the the pen tool way. It this tutorial um, could be long. I don't know. It kind of depends on what happens. Let's see. I want to make it this big. I don't want to make it too big. I just want to keep it like that. So, my one, the custom logo I have right now, isn't uh, pen tool. I've got some that are pen tool. They're on my portfolio, which you can find on my channel, just uh, under the the piece of writing. I don't know what to call it. The about me part. You can just uh, click on the portfolio and see my custom text. Anyway, let's just start. So, what you want to do is you want to make a new layer. There is a shortcut for that, it's Control shift n or Command shift n Then, you want to start with the pen tool. Now, you look at the main factors inside the F, like the main parts. What I'm going to focus on is the how they're both upside down L's. I'm going to do that. Upside down L's. So first, you want to hold shift as well when doing this, even though it's a ruler. Just like, to make, to make a cool effect. So, two L's. Okay, right to that. Also, you want to make sure that the lines are kind of the same size and not too thick. I think that's right. There. So, let me just change the color to white. Fill path. Okay, we have the, oh, we have the top part of the F. Open another layer. Now, this part, the bottom part, is goes like this. Just go down make it thicker go back up wait not too much here up up again close off fill bath now you can adjust the size at the end and how it looks now i don't think this is my best i'm just trying to make this really quickly three minutes just trying to make this really quick wait there's too much at the bottom cut that off That's better. Just close it. Now, now that we've finished the F, we can just merge the layers. Now let's try do an A. Now an A, like when it's next to an F, it's kind of difficult. Well, in my opinion. So I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna make it this way, but it's not really noticeable as an A. But I think it's pretty cool. It's not really noticeable as an A. Let's open it a bit. Nope. Lines are okay. I'll bring it down a bit. More to the right. Lower. There we go. Alright, so now I got that. Then I just bring it back in. Bring it up here and then close off. Now, it doesn't really look like an A, but... I don't know. You get what's meant to be. You know what's meant to be an A. So let's fill the path. Now, the main part in a custom logo is the slices and cuts. So what I do to make this easier is put on opacity of both of them, then I can see where they merge. And then what I do is, I just separate them, like this. Just I'm going to cut the A, not the F. Because it will look, oh, no wait. There we go, cut the A, not the F. Just do the same on this one. You want to make sure the cuts are the same size.
There we go. Right, so that's us going F and an E. Sort of an E. Now the Z. The Z is actually my favorite when it comes to custom text. Because there's so many ways you can do them. Like in my logo it's just like a thunder strike or a 7. Go up a bit and then just add it in. They do it like, oh, hold on. Up this way. Bring it down. Fill path. Okay, it looks like a seven. You can make it thicker. This is not my best. But it's something, at least. And so, if you can hear any background noise there, we have visitors over and. Well, I don't want to wait any longer because I've been delaying this for a while. Okay. I've been delaying this a while and I don't want to delay it any longer. So I figured might as well just do it now, get it over with. Okay. So let's see what will happen if we do this. There we go. Alright, it fits more. It's like a 7 and a Z kind of. Now to the U. The U is kind of curvy, so you want to make it curve. Or, if you want, you can do like a sharp U. Which is sometimes what I do, just like sharp letters for curvy things. For curvy, curvy letters. Okay, now, they're not thick enough. Let me make it thicker. That That's like one of the most important things. You want to... You want to make sure that it's thick and not too thin. So now that's done. Fill path. Delete the path. Okay. Now let's give it a slice. How large should we make? Let's make the slice this large. Right. And delete. No. Well, that's not bad. I guess it's okay for uh, how long? Seven minute work. Usually I spend up to 20 minutes. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate and subscribe. Next tutorial will be on how to just edit the text manually. Like without having to use pen tool. It's much easier and I actually prefer it. That's what I used in my logo.